Here we see an access sling being used for a wheelchair to toilet transfer. Begin by placing the sling around the patient's back. Using good postures, sit the patient forward and bring the chest piece round and under the arms. Fasten it firmly using the Velcro. Raise the patient's leg to support it and bring each leg piece down firmly sliding under the leg. Kneel to the opposite side to save stretching across and repeat the process for the other leg. Loop one strap through the other. To go in this sling the patient requires a degree of trunk control and the ability to extend the spine from the hips in order to hold themselves into the sling somewhat. Bring the lift in towards the patient with a hand on the cradle so as not to endanger them. Connect the main loops all the way round. This will still keep the patient in a sitting position. The access sling is a sitting to sitting sling only to be used for toileting transfers. It's called access because it has the facility to remove clothing while suspended. But due to the lack of fabric in the sling, this procedure can be unsafe if used on a patient without sufficient weight-bearing ability or strength. The patient's arms need to be on the outside of this sling. Raise the patient to a comfortable height instructing them to lean back slightly into the sling. You can see from the flat, relatively straight knee hip angle that they are safe in this sling. When ready, walk backwards, holding the lift at a comfortable height and keeping square to the load. Use the push pad to initiate forward movement. If there was sufficient space or the patient was in any way unpredictable, a second person would be used to help with this manoeuvre. Lower the patient down onto the toilet. Push back on the front of the knees to position correctly on the toilet. During the transfer, remove the patient's lower clothing. <laughs> 